Hi, this is a mini lesson, a mini video on playing the G7 chord. So the chords we've talked about already are C and F, if you've watched those mini videos. So next we'll add in G7. Now it's interesting, on chords with three notes, such as C and F, of course there's three different ways to play it, three places on the keyboard. The way I've been talking about it are ways that are very uh, easy to use on the organ. They sound good when you're playing chords in the left hand and a melody in the right hand on the upper keyboard. Uh, with G7, we're going to play it as a three note chord. Uh, all full note, full chord, uh, seventh chords have actually four notes in, but we often thin them to three or even two notes, and jazz players too often do this. So we will start uh, going to G7 by playing the C chord. This time, the common note is going to be your middle note, which is that G note. So you hold it down, let go of the C, bring your thumb to the next note, which is B. Let go of the E, the bottom note, with your little fifth finger, and put your fourth finger on F. That's a three note G7 chord. And the notes from left to right are F, G, B, or from the top down, B, G, and F. The easy way to get there is from the C chord. Remembering that your common tone is G, hold that G down, move thumb down one to B, and the fourth finger to B. So what's a little different about this? Well, you have two keys right next to each other that you're playing, that F and G, and then the B is on top. So back and forth from the C chord to the G7. chords together, for example, C, F, C, G7, C, it will look like this. C chord, F chord, we keep C down, back to a C chord, now to G7, keeping the G down, back to a C. With these three chords, you can play many, many songs, they're primary, they're primary chords. And moving from C to G7, when you feel comfortable, let go and play them all down together again. Maybe play each chord twice. Mini lesson on the wonderful G7 chord. Enjoy that.